in alliance duels there are three phases the first phase is preparation phase which lasts up to six days during this phase you will see the following place control center set truce time rankings and your war tokens what you need to do is go through the blaze control center and place those buildings you will find three towers and control centers this these buildings basically only would be available during the alliance duels after the alliance duels they will be removed if you don't place those buildings and those towers you will be considered loser if anybody declared a war in you and you cannot place them again once the preparation phase is over these towers and control center can only be placed in your alliance territory and you can build them basically by just sending troops into the building just like any other alliance building the second option you will see is called set truce time during this time nobody can declare war to you war declaration is the phase two it's not the phase one but during the phase one you can set the truce time during this truce time when declaration happens nobody can declare the time between the specific hours you choose however there is another option which is called enforce truce this option can only be used when someone declare a war in you and you don't want for example to play with them you can just choose not to and enforce your truce and once you use this option it will be in cooldown and of course the enemy cannot uh, fight you finally the war tokens these war tokens is the tokens in which you are going to use in order to declare war versus your rival or your enemy you are getting these tokens every monday and it's based on your rankings and how powerful your alliance is After the preparation phase is over, you will go into the war declaration and during the war declaration there will be six rounds in which you can choose the enemies from the list that will be shown. This list is most likely uh, the matchmaking which is similar to your alliance ranking. You can then choose to declare war with any of them and on each of them there is a timer in which that alliance is available. If you paid attention on each single alliance of these, there is a score. That's a state score for the current Migo. If you won any of them, you are going to steal some of this score from one of these alliances that you have matched, have been matched with and won. The same goes for you. If you have been matched and you lost, you are going to lose some of your state score. And again, during this time, you can choose to enforce truce of one of these alliances if they choose, for example, to declare war on you. However, if you did not set any truce, you are available to war 24 hours. Finally, this is the war phase mode in which you have to teleport to the enemy server in order to fight the enemy alliance the enemy has three towers and obviously a center if they did not build any of these you will be automatically uh, like won you have automatically won the battle to get the score you got to obviously attack these towers you cannot attack the command center the center unless you destroy all the towers to gain points you have to do one of two things either damage their buildings destroy their buildings and obviously the amount of troops you kill from that alliance will contribute into your merit points you can win if you do one of the following if your overall alliance score is more than the enemy by the end of the war you will be considered a winner or if you manage to destroy the enemy command center and obviously you have to go inside the towers first burn the tower first 
and then go inside the command center and burn it and destroy it. Your troops die during this event, but they only die if you have reached the highest capacity of your hospital, obviously. So the only way to save yourself is to be under a shield. And as far as I know, when you start a rally, the joiners can still be under shield and they still can be reinforcing others as far as we have tested on the BTR. Your troops will never be recovered. If your troops die during this event, they will never be recovered again. There is no recovery mode like SVS. Once your troops dies here, goodbye. Some will go enlistment and some will go, will become basically dead forever. That's all for the event. And obviously, if you won, you will be stealing the other losers state points. And if you lose, you are going to lose like 20%, I think, or some percentage from your total uh, state points. That's it and have a wonderful day.